for taking shots. But again, I think they are in a position where they can maybe hold on. But with Tixie taking so much damage there, this is getting real unideal. No, the longer this fight goes on, the worse it looks. I mean, we knew Falcons had control of the bridge from a very early moment onto this game. They felt confident with the way that the fight started. Loops right up in their grill as well, ahead of each other. So at least it's developing into a clash between four of the squads. Cleaning up now going to be the most important factor. Bullets going down range, connecting back on the Mythic and keeping him in check with the space that he was able to take away. It's rough though. Uh, you look at the sort of damage we've established there. Gladiators coming into this one didn't feel like they were really able to spread their wings now fully taken out of the mission so not starting it off nicely on sandhook and this just continues the elimination feed is not stopping yeah it's all over the place and it makes sense as well because so many teams now have to cross those bridges get into very open area and stalwart's doing what stalwart does from the point we first saw them you know it already looked so uncomfortable it felt like you were kind of really staring defeat in the face from the opening moments instead though they played out the longevity of the game not feeling forced not really rushing themselves into a misplay and it's worked out for falcons it was a great start but ever since, the boys have started to roll up and apply pressure onto them. They've been crumbling under it. Now, quite fragmented as well. Being able to actually bypass up here and not being just absolutely annihilated from the positions that are being controlled all around you is not going to be easy. Six and so taking bullets down range as that will connect onto him just off towards the side as well. Other hyenas effectively lurking, waiting to engage on this one if they want to, because you can see how weak some of these squads are now starting to look. Yeah, it's starting to get very, very difficult. And Stalwart has just stolen the show this game. You can see how much of a big number Nerzhead's been, because he's a great addition to the squad so far. You know, he has really been putting up some massive work. He is a bit more um, on the chaotic side, I'd say, compared to Action mm. and Top, who are very good in the clutch scenario. But I think that's what makes him fantastic, right? He will just hold the line for you. Currently, he's just facing off against the entirety of Falcons, whereas the rest of the boys are just dealing with all these other angles slowly but surely clearing out these spaces alter ego obviously we saw them in their engagement between gladiators they got a little bit luckier they were able to get down towards trifecta earlier on i think that's a smart move to make and have got towards the top seven because of it i think the most interesting thing though is the way that i see played from stalwart from compound to compound he's constantly covering the back of the team so the communication on these lads oh it's phenomenal Oh, yeah. From the amount of fights they're actually being thrust into here as well, the way they're being able oh, to take wow. their angles is ridiculous. But you say his name and you've sprung him into effect as the pin is pulled. And he throws two players down to the deck instantly. DX struggling off the back of that one. That's not what you want to be in. Oh, mate. It is suddenly... The pressure that's being applied is even more intensified as I see. Yeah, this man is ice cold. There is no sweat on his brow. It's insanely good, but you also saw that he didn't even try and flush the eliminations. He knew his job and he performed it perfectly, which is just to hold this position. They know DX Avery's got to come out at some point, so he has absolutely rinsed them from this spot. Really, really well done. In the meantime, continues to provide information. His whole job is just to not die. Uh, and getting two knocks in the process, you know, holding it down, that's fantastic news for him. We'll see if this nade clips him. It does not. Close quarters though, trying to find his way out of the doorway might be a risky maneuver. Ooh, DBS in the hand. Oh, for the quick shot. Look at the bounce across. Lands it as well with a follow up. Oh, mate. I see. He's on one. That was a fantastic haul from I see, man. He's been all over the shop there. And you know, we talked about Nerds at the tops, but look, he had backup. He saw action though, despite everything, running in from the end to try and help his lad. But again, it wasn't required. Icy's got this on lock on that top side. Alpha 7 in the meantime though, as four players, they've been very resilient here. Up to seven eliminations. Potato though, he's still going for Alter Ego. Potato, can this man punish? Ooh, surrounded at this point, playing to play with a map geometry that he's got, pulling out the SMG. Will it be sublime? Bullets down, rage quickly. Nerzed still focused on the potential getaway from the last man from Falcons, the DPS as well. Looking punishing as Potato gets put back in the ground. Dear me, right now up to 12 eliminations for Stalwart. They have been absolutely dominant in this first map.
monumental plays coming through backwards and forwards. Duello in the meantime, he's fighting the entirety of Alpha 7. The Japanese squad going hell for leather over here. As the numbers dwindle, already this intense game leaving us now with what could be the final fight to decide which one gets to taste that chicken dinner coming into group green to start us off here and you are left with a four versus three map control it's got to be said it is stalwart they're playing it to a t living the name here and i mean the way they've controlled this map as well you saw they put a lot of emphasis towards this side. They used this outpost before, mainly as a scouting position, but they wanted the high ground when it came to that end game. So everything is part of their grand design here over on Stalwart. Snap sent up, looks to go for a peak, but in the meantime, they just realized they're scared. So they're just gonna try and move further down. Action with a quick feat, and there's an immediate return from Icy again. You can see the way they're playing it as well, trying to bait each other out, playing the numbers game, knowing they can trade for one of these players and peeking off each other's contact. I see, goes up close, shattered, as he will go down to the DBS, punishing him with a one punch. Low HP though, a not great positional play to work with. Gotta pop those heels quick, bullet to the back, shuts down another one. Suddenly we're starting to see star work coming out on top, unless one man can make a difference. DBS closes the gap, keeps him in close check, looking for the finishes as well, but this is a rough position to be in blank. He's behind the tree and he might be barking up the wrong one. Just Nerzed versus Mafioso now as the circle begins to close. Nerzed goes for the jump peak. My God, there it is coming through in the air. Nerzed shutting it down. And the success coming out, little bit of a celebration as well. And rightly so. I mean, the way that Star Wars played that, you've got to give them props. Individually, Blank, we were talking about confidence being such a big boon. Being able to show that extra 15 to 20% that matters most on a big stage like this. I think they went above and beyond. That was maybe 30% power. That was 30% additional power, right? It really gave it in that first map. And this is sort of an unreliable map to pick up a bunch of points as well. The fact that they're able to get 16 eliminations is absolutely disgusting.